Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to attach the fenders to a ghost saddle. So this is a ghost base, so it has the two stirrup D-rings, which you can see there. And these are the two strap fenders. These are, I guess, the more popular model they do offer a little bit more leg stability than the one strap but you you lose the advantage of being able to put the fender um you know in in a further back position or a more forward position this is sort of you know a central position i guess for want of a better word but you put the two straps through so this is opposite you put them through obviously that way which is opposite to how you would do the English leathers I'll um, do another video about that and then you just slide the fender up and then put your stirrup on just move the uh, camera angle a little bit So put your stirrup on and then take your front strap and put it through the buckle this way and then take it up to the hole that you want. Let's say we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the bottom. It's really important that both straps are on the same holes. So again through the front of the buckle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's important to count because they can sometimes look even but aren't. And then you push the ends through this section of the buckle like that. And then you put those under your stirrup iron. And then bring it together like that. And then you put your keeper on. Should have been done this before. So buckle to the back, push together, and then feed it through. Doing this without wanting to move the camera <laughs> there we go and then I do these up fairly firm I do them up as tight as you can get them so maybe often the second tightest hole is a good one we like that and then just centralize it at the bottom Some people sort of say, oh, well, what, you know, we don't want the buckle against the horse. But when your foot is in the stirrup, everything's going to twist like this. And the buckles are going to be facing forward. They're not going to be against your horse. Um, you can train your fenders. I kind of curve them like that a bit. You can twist them like to that point and put a broomstick through both stirrups and that'll hold them in place. You do want to kind of shape the fender though so that it's kind of curving like that. Um, you can give them an oil before you do that. That helps to set them. You, with, you know, traditional Western fenders, you can dunk them in water. I wouldn't do that with the ghost fenders because they're all stitched, which, you know, traditional Western fenders generally aren't stitched. Anyway, that is how you do up the two-strap USA ghost fenders.